Hey folks, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and it's Wee Wednesday again, so we're looking at a tiny little knife. Wee, W-E-E, -E, means small, tiny, little. And this is a nice necklace or keychain style knife, or maybe the bottom of a purse kind of knife. Pocket somewhere, little pocket. Uh, anywhere where you want a blade to do some very small tasks. Uh, letter opening, package opening, you know, stuff like that. And this is totally adequate for those kinds of tasks. This is a small knife that comes in two different colors and a drop point. Uh, you can get it in uh, another color or the same color with a Tanto style blade. And then you can get this drop point in a Tanto blade uh, with a Damascus on the blade. Titanium handles, a nice little flipper knife. So if you like little knives or you're just curious about them, and you might be in the market for something like this. Uh, the price is under 14 US dollars for this. I think it's around 20, 22 or something like that for the Damascus versions. So not bad, that's US dollars. And uh, I think you might be interested in something like this. So stick around for the full review coming at you right now. That's not the chain that it came with. It came with just a little, I think it came with a chain. <laughs> I'll have to double check that. It came with just a chain that has the little round links and not these other uh, different links. I'll give you a close up shot of these. And this is what I use when I'm wearing it around my neck. Doesn't look bad. And this is how I use it. I've got this little carabiner. Here we go. I got this little carabiner clip and a tiny little split ring on the back of the knife and you know it just clips on like that and that's how the knife sort of hangs and I like to hang it around my neck and then when I need it I can just disconnect it and do what I need to do with it actions very good it flips very very well very easily uh, it also works just as well on a keychain uh, got the same kind of, here it is, same kind of system here with the carabiners and it clips on, holds on and I like to have, I like to have knives with me. You never know when you're going to need a knife and so a knife on a keychain is a really good idea or around your neck or all kinds of different ways. And with a tiny little knife like this, you can get away with carrying it in places where, you know, you might not be able to get a knife in otherwise. I'm not suggesting you intentionally break the law. It's just that, you know, this little knife is actually, you know, can be considered man jewelry, you know, or woman jewelry, whatever you want. And, you know, I like it really well. It, you can get it in a nice blue kind of anodized color. And we've got really nice, th narrow little lines milled in there. And then a deeper line, a furrow, up, if you will, down the middle. And the other side's the same way. And then a very nice little wire EDM cut for the uh, frame lock arm to release. TC4 titanium, open pillar construction. So one hourglass shape pillar in the back there. And then you've got your pivot screw there. Quite nice. And right here you can see there's just a tiny little hole and you put in a little split ring in there and works like a charm. The uh, detent is very good on here. It holds that knife in place. I've never had it come open on me unintentionally on a keychain or on my neck. And I've worn this on my neck or on a keychain for the last two weeks straight. No, it's more like three weeks, I think. And, you know, haven't had a single issue with that. And every single time you want it to flip open, it just does. And even though it's titanium, I've had no lock stick, no problems with that. Uh, when you go to unlock it, it unlocks easily every single time. And, you know, I've gotten good at it with both my right or left hands. Even though it's technically a right hand knife, you know, it just works just fine. No problems at all. Now, I did want to open the knife up and show you the uh, ball bearings in there. And it looks like it would have a captured pivot because this side has nothing on it. And this side's got the little torque screw. I think it's a T6. But no, it's a free spinning pivot and I couldn't get that screw out. There's no way I could get this to stop turning. If I really wanted to, I would take my Dremel tool and I'd make a little line through there 
and turn it into, you know, like a standard screwdriver screw so I could hold that and then undo this if I really, really felt like I needed to. But you've seen little ball bearings before. And if you haven't, just keep watching my channel. You'll see them sometime. Uh, or watch some of the other Wee Wednesday uh, videos. I've got, um, what do they call them? Playlists. I've got a playlist for my Wee Wednesday knives, and you'll see some little ones that way. Now, if you take a good look in here, I'm going to start... I'm going to focus it nice and close here. There you go. If you take a look in there, you can see a little bit of that brass color right there in the pivot. That's where the ball bearings are sitting. Tiny little stop pin there. Doesn't need a big stop pin. You know, for a knife like this, you just don't need an awful lot of one. We've got a saber grind on here. It's close to a full flat grind, but not quite bit of a swedge on the blade and a drop point, even a nice little sharpener's choil. And Bandit's all excited making noise back there. I hope that background noise doesn't bother you. Uh, see the stone wash on the blade? Beautiful stone wash right there. It's a nice little knife. And now I've got a uh, filleting attachment for my TS Pro sharpening system. I'll easily be able to hold this thing and sharpen that tiny little blade. There's a centimeter from the spine to the belly here and uh, that's not very much room and you need a very nice small little clamp system to do that and that filleting system works great for this. Let's give you all the dimensions for this knife. Sorry about the focusing. I try really hard to get everything focused but it doesn't always work out the way I want it to work out unfortunately. I can either manually focus every time I need to focus, or I can have it on autofocus. But on autofocus, it's always bouncing back and forth, and that's really annoying to some people, including myself. So I have to manually focus when I need to focus. Let's do the dimensions quickly here. The blade length and the cutting edge length are the same. 3.6 centimeters. That's 1.4 inches. The blade thickness is 2.1 millimeters. That's 0 0.083, so uh, that's not bad at all. Then we've got the blade depth, that's this measurement. It's almost exactly one centimeter, 0.4 of an inch. The thickness of the edge behind the grind is 0.4 millimeters, that's 0 0.0155, so uh, 15 thousandths of an inch, not bad at all, 15 and a half thousandths. Uh, the handle length is 5.4 centimeters, which is 2.13 inches. The grip area, so behind the flipper to the end of the handle, is about 1.7 centimeters, 4.3 4 centimeters, 1.7 inches. I wrote down the numbers backwards, and so I said them the wrong way the first time. Uh, the handle thickness is 9 millimeters, which is 0.35 of an inch, so basically a third of an inch. The uh, handle depth and the knife depth when it's closed is the same because the blade hides completely in there. That's 0 0.12 centimeters, just under half an inch, 0.49. And the total length of this knife is 9 centimeters when it's open, 3.56 inches. It weighs 19 grams, 0.65 of an ounce. So two-thirds of an ounce, and that's the whole thing. And then you get a nice sharp edge. They say this is D2 steel. Uh, I've done some of my testing on it, but not an awful lot. I don't know if it's D2. It might be. Uh, I, I just don't know. This is a no-name knife. I've got no brand to link it up with. Um, it's probably one of those knives that gets made by a company and it gets sold off to all kinds of different brands. And so I just don't know. And the, type, the uh, Damascus ones, it's even harder to know exactly what metals they use for the Damascus. Boy, my dog is so excited. <laughs> um, the pros and the cons for this, it's cool, it's tiny, it's functional, it works well, the good detent, the good action, it's safe, uh, it's fairly sharp from the factory, it's got good looks, and it's great as a necklace or a pocket knife, uh, like a, a small pocket knife, like your watch pocket or whatever, or a keychain knife. Uh, the cons of it basically are the free spinning pivot here. I really wish they would have either put a torque screw on both sides so I could put this in a little vise and be able to you know take it apart if I needed to. 
And uh, the other... Oh, well, the other con is the same thing. I couldn't take it apart to take pictures of it, but that's not a con for you guys. That's just a con for me. So there's very few cons for this thing. Basically, that pivot screw, and that's about it. The uh, flipper tab here is nicely uh, softened on the edges, and it just works very well to flip out the knife. Uh, you can push, do the push method where you're pushing straight down because the... Uh, Flipper tab is behind the pivot point, or you can use light switch method, light switch method, and flip it open. It's just a very nice little knife. I got mine from GearBest, bought it from my own money, and I recommend it very highly if you're looking for something like this. I'll have links down below uh, where you can get this, either with the D2 with quotation marks around it, or the Damascus. And uh, you know, if you're looking for a little knife, this is not a bad choice at all. So thanks for watching my video. Happy Wee Wednesday to you. Remember guys, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb.